after the Omaha ice storm, Bellevue firefighters took advantage of the conditions to train for ice rescues. Reporter Joe Kadat was in Bellevue this morning. He has the scenes and reaction. Joe. It's one of the vital times of year for fire training for the Bellevue Fire Department. And this fire officer says that a dangerous situation can happen on the ice and become life threatening in a matter of minutes. Very quickly, um, this ice can break uh, very rapidly. You'll hear it crack and then you'll go under. Um, it, it happens just like that. Um, and then a few few minutes in that water, your body will start to shut down. The more firefighters pull each other out of the ice, the faster they'll get during an emergency. Well, you just need to be ready. Um, like I said, we only train, get this training in the winter time once or twice. So the more you work on it in that period, uh, the better off you'll be when when and if you need to use it. Battalion Chief Kurt Strakota says a number of these firefighters are new recruits. It's more of a building comfort and as well as just the experience and practice. While they only use these skills once or twice a year, Strakota says the training is vital. It's really important because if, you know, they may be few and far between for the rescues that we actually go on, but it's going to be that one that we need it. This way all our frontline apparatus have the equipment to perform an ice rescue and all the people are trained to do it. Fire officer Anthony Gibalisco says everyone needs to remember that ice should be at least two inches thick to be safe to walk on. Just being with an adult always uh, check for, uh, make a cut in the, in the ice just to check the depth and just to be on the safe side. The battalion chief says that with temperatures expected later in the week in the 40s, that thin ice can be expected around shorelines and objects like sticks and rocks stuck in the ice. Reporting live, Joe Kadat, KMTV Action 3 News. We checked today. If you have plans to venture out 